Mercedes has completely redesigned the large GL class for 2013. We're behind the wheel of a GL350 Blue Tech, which means that it has a diesel V6, and as equipped, this car has more tech than you could ever imagine. Seven passenger seating, three separate sunroofs, a web browser, an automatic parking feature. Everything about this car is done in a way that makes it over the top but the driving experience itself is tremendously understated. It's a car that you don't realize weighs twice as much as a Corolla. It starts in the parking lot where you don't actually have to look out the great deal of windows here. You can use the overhead camera, you can use the around view, the rear view, any number of options to see where the car itself is moving and it doesn't stop when you put the car in drive. I can see here without even looking how close I'm getting to that Nissan Quest in front of me. And look at this, uh, this view right here. Made a safe exit. It really helps in a car that's this big. Now granted, it does have about a 40 foot turning radius, which is, uh, for a car this size, is not bad at all. On the road, this car also feels nimble. It's huge. I mean, I'm sitting so high up that I'm looking at, you know, semi-drivers almost eye to eye. But at the same time, it feels like, an, you know, an E-Class. It feels like a Mercedes sedan. It doesn't feel like we're driving this absolutely massive, massive, heavy, tall SUV. You have an, a choice of either a sport or a comfort suspension. If you put it in sport, it feels great. So we're coming up on some uneven pavement. And though this car is responsive, it doesn't really matter that I'm about to drive over these incredibly rough bumps. It's a little jarring, but I mean, I'd be able to sit and have a glass of Earl Grey.